Morning guys, we're on our way to the Melbourne show today. It's not too far, about an hour and a half drive. Today the one thing we're after is an artichoke plant because we were in Rome a few weeks ago and we had loads of artichokes and I really enjoyed them so I'd really like to grow those. But I think what we're going to do is have a walk around and then buy stuff before lunch so we can take it to the car. Um, things sell out quite quickly so it's good to come on the first day of the show because you get your pick of everything um, and we want some nice artichokes. Also our seedlings, there's a few of them that we um, may buy plants for because they've not been doing so well but we're going to have a, a hunt around first and find the bargains. This is the gold show garden. The fruit in the middle is beautiful. So over here they're filming for the Gardener's World which is going to be on tomorrow night. Monty Don's there. Ooh, I could do with some camera equipment like this. Look at that. It's just gone 10 o'clock and it's not too busy yet which is nice because you can get looking at all of the stalls and there's plenty to see. We're going into the garden lifestyle marquee now. Planted along in the middle of everywhere are these big gardens and this one's vegetables. How have they managed to get them this far along when my seedlings won't even come up? Not gonna lie, this is gonna be my favorite marquee today. It's the food tent. Here's Trevor tasting bread. This is from Swift's Bakery. So we're here at Kel Kelsmore Dairy Ice Cream and they've got a really interesting variety of, of ice cream and it's called Chuckleberry. So we're going to try some of that right now. And it's a mix between a black currant, a red currant and a gooseberry, which is all of the um, berries that we've got on our pot. It looks really tasty, doesn't it? Let's try it. It's really good. That's really good. The berry is quite tart. It tastes amazing. It doesn't taste like either one of the berries like singly, but all mixed together and with the sweetness of the white chocolate, it tastes really, really good. So that was, what was that berry called? Chuckle. A chuckle berry. Like the Chuckle Brothers, that's how I remember it. That's a really nice one. Guys, I'm so excited. Remember when we were at the Edible Garden Show and the Urban Herbs were there and they had all the nice herbs that smelt like, and there was blackcurrant sage, but we were so far away from home, we couldn't pick any up because we traveled by train and they just wouldn't transport. Well, not today. We're close enough to fill the car with tasty herbs. What shall we get? Let's go have a look. I'm having a good sniff of them all. I finally got my urban herbs. I'll show you what I got when we get home later, I think. I've lost Trevor to the Snowdonia Cheese Company. He's trying all their samples over there. Start the Red Storm, which is about 18 months old. It's just wonderful. It has just started pouring with rain. It was so sunny earlier. That didn't last for very long, did it? Luckily, we're inside the food tent and I can't imagine any better place to be stuck while it's raining. I'm having one of these chocolate filled donuts. So the show's not all about food and vegetables, there's also loads of flowers here and we're in the flower arranging section at the moment. So I don't know if you know but me and Trevor have got a little farmstead dream and look at this cute little caravan, wouldn't this be perfect on our little plot of land? It's lovely and cosy in here with a little wood burner. It's like my tiny house. I would like to confirm that I'm a chef. <laughs> not a gardener. That I have put far too much respect for the profession that gardeners are doing. Okay, but I do love gardens. Yes, and I'm very, very, extremely involved okay, with the garden. It's brightened up a bit now, so we're having a walk outside. It's a little bit windy, but you get the awesome sound in the wind of these wind chimes. And look at these ones. Not as nice as Jim's allotment one though. There isn't anybody here signing at the moment, but inside there's a book signing area and Raymond Block was here earlier signing Q on a plate. You always add boiled, not boiling water to herbs. So you, you don't, the um, oils don't evaporate off. There's some pretty amazing looking meat here and some nice charcuterie too. I don't use any sort in my we're going to be heading home shortly, so we thought we'd just get a couple of drinks before we do. We're not driving, we're here, my mum's here as well with us, so she drove today, so we're fine to have a few drinks, just, just so you know. <laughs> Don't drink and drive. Don't drink and drive, Trevor says. So these are our choices, look, Shropshire Ales, which is fitted because that's from us, but obviously that is from us, so we want to try something maybe a bit further afield. We've got cider and perry, or oh, the champagne tasted over there, which I think sounds amazing, but the guy's on his phone, so I'm not sure if I really want to go over and like interrupt him. 
or if we'll have to buy a bottle. Let's go and see. Because I'm leaving the bar, I've had to transfer the champagne into a plastic glass, but this one is the Brut that I'm trying. And Trevor's having a half pint of this Parish. Well, we're home now, guys. We've had a really nice day and the show is on till Sunday and I'll leave all of the links below if you want to go yourself. I just thought I'd give you a quick haul of everything we got. I was especially pleased to be able to get these herbs from the Urban Herbs people. So I've got chocolate mint, mint strawberry, and this one is sage pineapple. And when you rub the leaves, they, they just smell exactly like what it says they are. We also got this Vietnamese coriander. And another mint, this one is lime mint. I'm really looking forward to cooking with these and I think it's gonna be amazing in cocktails too. And then I got this tiny little um, tomato, which is sweet million. And I actually got this from the National Allotment Society lady. So I was telling her about my seedlings not really going, growing and she, she gave me that one, which I thought was really nice of her. And also because our seeds aren't doing that well, I got this sweet pepper, um, just in case they don't grow, at least I've got something that's gonna grow. This box of chocolates, it actually came in my press pack, but um, I met this lady's husband and these are botanical chocolates. So that was really interesting and I'm looking forward to trying those. I did have some samples on their store, which were lovely. And then also from the Snowdonia Cheese Company, I got this um, green cheese, which was the garlic and garden herbs. Now at the very start of the video, I mentioned that I really wanted glow bar to choke. Wow, I couldn't get them at the show. I couldn't find anybody selling them. So we actually stopped at Webb's on the way home, which is a garden center near the showground and I picked up these globe artichokes from there. I have to say, I never thought the day would come when I would actually go to like a garden show and be buying plants. I probably used to roll my eyes when my mum would go all the time and I just never got it. But today was really fun and I was really interested in all of the plants and everything that were going on. So I guess it's true you do turn into your parents eventually. And we went with mum today and Lynn and thank you very much to them for taking us. Have a great week guys. See you soon. And then we're about to watch a talk with the Big Allotment Challenge winners.